guys, it's Shani and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I'm doing a makeup haul. Everything that I'm going to be showing you today is from BoastedBeauty.com. It is basically an Australian website that sells like international makeup that is really hard to get a hold of. All of these products that I'm about to show you I have wanted for the longest time. So I'm really excited and let's jump into it. So let's start with eyeshadow palettes. The first one that I picked up is the Smashbox Full Exposure Palette. Oh my god, look at the packaging. It is so stunning. It just reflects off the light. Okay, so there is a row of matte shades and a row of shimmery shades. I can't really say too much about this palette because I haven't used it yet. The colors do seem pretty pigmented. They're not like over the top pigmented. So this is like a really nice neutrals palette and I think it's very, very pretty and I can't wait to use it in a video. Moving on, the next eyeshadow palette that I picked up is the Lorac Pro Palette. This is in my August favorites. If you guys haven't seen that, I'll link it down below. Oh my gosh, I've never loved an eyeshadow palette this much in my entire life. If I had to have just one, this would be the palette that I would keep. So this has a row of matte shades and a row of shimmery shades. They are very, very pigmented, so, so easy to blend. The color selection in this palette is absolutely to die for. My favorite one is the color Sable. It's kind of like a reddy brown shade and it's just so, so pigmented. And then the shade Gold is just like a true gold. It's, it's oh... So yeah, I think I've talked about this product enough now. I will be doing a lot of tutorials using this because it is like my little baby and I freaking love it. The next eyeshadow palette that I picked up is the Naked 3 palette. I actually already had this, but it was fake and I had no idea that it was fake until I got this one because then I compared them and I'm like, oh, how annoying. This palette has a really gorgeous color selection. It has nice rosy pinks and then it goes into golds and browns and bronzes, which is literally like the best color combination of my life. I'm really excited to use this in a video because the colors are literally spot on. They are very pigmented, but not as pigmented as the Lorac Pro palette, but still gorgeous. <laughs> and now moving on to blushes, the first one that I picked up is the NARS blush in the shade Amour. This is my first blush from NARS, so I'm very excited to add this to my collection because it's just so pigmented and creamy and buttery and oh my god. I can't. I just can't. So this is like a rosy, dusty, deep kind of pink shade, which is, I think, very unique. And yeah, I'm excited to try this one out. I also got the Hard Candy Fox in a Box in the shade Spicy and Sweet. I use this in a tutorial, and I'll have that link down below. It is very, very pretty. It has a bronzy shade, and then it has three different shades of pink. And when you swirl it all together, it's like the most stunning blush. So, oh, it doesn't smell. I thought it did. Yeah. And the last blush that I picked up is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the shade Peaceful. This is a very pretty light pink with gold specks. It is very creamy and pigmented and buttery. Woo, my lord. The next product is like my absolute holy grail. I love it so much. It's the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. I've been using this since I got the package. Literally haven't used anything else. It's kind of like a gel consistency. So if you want to change the shape of your eyebrow completely, this will do magical things to your brows. I've never used an eyebrow product that works this well for my brows, so if you guys are looking for a new one, this is amazing. I've used it on my friends a few times and they're like, I need that now. I'm like, mm-hmm, honey. I also picked up two lipsticks and I'm not even going to try and pronounce that name. I'll just have it listed down below because I suck at pronunciation. The first one is in the shade Neon Coral. It is just a gorgeous, corally, pinky, orangey red. This is extremely opaque, very pigmented and creamy, and it's just a really, really nice formula. The next one that I got is in the shade Lilac. It is just a really nice lilac-y purple, and it also has a little bit of pink in it as well. So it's a lot more wearable than just a standard purple lipstick. So as you can see right here, it is very, very opaque as well. I also picked up the Tarte Amazonian Clay Full Coverage Foundation in the shade Medium Tan Honey. Wow, this is the best foundation I've used. I know last month I said I love the Chi Chi foundation out of like any other. Mm -hmm, this overtook it. This is so good. If you have problem skin, like really bad acne or pimples, or you just want a very, very full coverage, this will work wonders for you, girl. The color is good. The coverage is amazing. It lasts ages. It doesn't get oily. Like what more do you want, really? I want to go to dinner tonight. I'm so... Oh my god. I'm going to see if Sean will go to dinner. <laughs> I can't. I'm so hungry. I can't. <laughs> Hello? 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 <laughs> Did I wake you up? 
Um, I was just wondering if you want to go to the Indian restaurant tonight. Ew, Toby farted. Ew. <laughs> Anyways, back to the makeup haul. I also picked up the Hard Candy Glam of Large Heavy Duty Concealer. I know that's not how you pronounce it, I just know it. This is a extremely full coverage concealer, so if you want to spot conceal and cover any pimples, I'm pretty sure this will do the job because it is extremely thick and very, very good at covering things. I also picked up the Bosa Beauty brush set. So there is four synthetic brushes in here. I like to use these three for foundation and this one for concealer under my eyes. And they work very, very well. I would say that these are a dupe to the Sigma Kabuki brushes. Next is some false eyelashes. These are the Bosa Beauty ones. These remind me a lot of the Red Cherry lashes, um, just the style of them, and the band is really thin, so they would be a, like really easy to put on. And we also have some makeup sponges. I'm not a huge fan of these um, because they're really hard, and when you wet them, they don't get really big like the normal beauty blenders. Um, I didn't like them, so I tried to do the ombre nail effect, but it didn't work. And the last thing that I got is the EOS Lip Balm. This is the mint scent, and it smells like medicated gum. <laughs> It's very moisturizing on the lips, but I'm not a huge fan of the smell. Okay, so there is one item in this video that is not from Bosa Beauty. This one is from Bag Inc. It is a bag that I've been using for the last two months, non-stop. The only one that I've been using, and that is... Dun, dun, dun! This bag right here, it looks a lot like the Celine bag, but I don't have money to buy a Celine bag, so I got this one instead. It has a really nice snake skin feel to it. It is extremely good quality. It has a zipper at the front and then two zippers inside and it's black so it matches every single outfit. So yeah, I'll leave the link to bagging.com down below so you guys can check them out. Literally the best bag ever. So there we have it. My makeup haul is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed it and make sure you go check out Bursa Beauty. The last time that I went on there it said that it won't be open till the 16th so 10 days from now you can go ahead and buy some stuff. Um, so I guess you have time to start saving. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please, please, please give it a thumbs up because it means the absolute world to me and it helps me out a lot. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos and I will see you in my next video which is going to be tomorrow. Bye! Hey guys, I am back again. It is now 7 o'clock at night so this foundation has been on for a really long time. 